Mm. Hello there, coming to you with a very special review out of Canada. It is the SK Reviewer. We are doing a review of Colt 45 Malt Liquor. But to be clear, this is the Canadian version of it. It is 8%. One Reddit user I saw said it tastes nothing like the American version. So. It might not, but to me, this is what I have available to me. It only comes in the can version. It used to come... Actually, some places you can still find it in a bottle, but I'm not sure if it's plastic or glass, but it's still here in a bottle somewhere. I know you can get it, but this is the can version. Colt 45. You can see on the front, 8%. Now I did some research on this one, and a lot of my facts are coming from Wikipedia, which of course is not the most trusted source, but bear with me. According to them, it was introduced by National Brewing in 1963. Pabst now owns it. The horse label on the front, one of the reasons it's on there, this horse label here, is to represent the extra kick it has. And then, um, I didn't know this, and I, this is from Wikipedia, so I'm not sure much about it, but according to them in the 1990s, there was a cool cult edition introduced, which was a mint flavor, Colt 45, and it puzzled, um, consumers and, like, fans of Colt 45, and I can see why, like, what the fuck, but I digress, like, maybe someone out there did enjoy it. Now, supposedly in Montana and other places, like, it doesn't say exactly where, but it says a few places, they actually brew Colt 45 double malt, which is like, it has two horseshoes on the front, it says to represent the double malt. Rape Beer has this at currently a rating of 1.7 out of 10, which we all know that's not a good rating, so this can has one dent I noticed on the front here. Um... The can design, I, I, I researched some of the cans and like, I'm not sure if it's changed a whole lot, like, it looks old school to me, like, I don't know, it, it has like an old school look to me, and I like it, it it's not the, the coolest can to me, like, I don't think it, it has like the best look, but it's not a bad look, like, the can look is okay, it's like a 6 point, no, it's like a 7.1 to me, the can look, but it's, it's okay. Anyway, so now we're gonna open this up, pour it in here. There's um, some head on there, a lot of carbonation, <laughs> in the background I can hear a goose, okay. Hmm. Interestingly enough, it almost has like a sweetness to it when you first take it. Like the sip, like it almost has like a sweetness. And then the alcohol taste comes on, like you can taste that it's strong. Um, there's some hop and bitterness to it, but the alcohol is really strong on the, on the end of the taste, on the middle of the taste. The smell is not overly pungent. But pleasant. It is pleasant. It has a really good taste though. Yeah, no, I give this like a seven point four. It's strong. 
It's not terrible tasting. It's something you can sip. It's good. Keep it chilled though. Thanks for watching.